the intercollegiate battle of brains brought to you each week by the General Electric Company. Live and direct from colleges and universities throughout America. General Electric. The, company that... the intercollegiate battle of the brains, the GE College Bowl, pitted teams of college students against one another in a high-stakes game of trivia. It was one of the most popular television shows of the 50s and 60s, as people from across the country tuned in to see students from places like Yale, Cornell, Stanford, and Barnard compete for scholarship funds and bragging rights. After carefully watching the show to identify categories of required knowledge, members of the HWS faculty put together a College Bowl team of students with the skills necessary to win. That team included Jerry Levy, Marsha Burgess Hodges, Jim Zura, Joe Rischel, and alternate Wayne Atwell. Under the leadership of Professor of Philosophy Peril Payne, the team worked with faculty and students from across the campus to hone their knowledge of art, literature, philosophy, logic, history, physics, and math, and prepare for battle. Hi, everybody. It's very good to have you with us in the College Bowl today because it should be a very good game. You see Hobart's going out after the trophy, and Baylor's here to see that they don't get it. So let's get the game started and meet the team. Ably prepared by their faculty in Geneva, the Hobart and William Smith team answered some tough questions. Okay, that's the opening whistle. You're still playing for a 30-point bonus. Here's your toss-up. For a quick mathematical toss-up, take the number of German rights, add the number of French republics. For 10 points, what's your sum? Hobart, Levy! Eight. Eight is right. Three rights, five republics. Okay. The HWS team also got to brag about the colleges and about Geneva, New York. Marcia, what is this you have here? It's a proclamation signed by the mayor of Geneva proclaiming February 2nd as Hobart William Smith Day in honor of the College Bowl team. The whole town's going to turn out for this team, and we like that. By the end of the match, Hobart and William Smith had overpowered Baylor University 245 to 140, becoming one of only three teams, along with Colgate and Rutgers, to retire undefeated. It's official. The final score today is Hobart 245. Baylor 140, Hobart is the winner. For carrying home the honors today, the fifth consecutive win, Hobart and William Smith will receive a $3,000 scholarship grant. General Electric also presents Hobart and William Smith with this Silver Achievement Trophy. Now, to accept the award, the alternate for the team, Wayne Atwell. Congratulations, Wayne. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. And it's good to see you. Thank you. The team and their coach were welcomed back to campus and to Geneva with parades and fanfare. The influence of this win cannot be overstated. It was a very high level, very public recognition of the academic life of Hobart and William Smith and put the colleges on a national platform, attracting the attention of prospective students and donors for generations to come. And remember, in education as in science and industry at General Electric, progress is our most important product. See you next week.